Jossie, aka J Renee, back at it again with another video. Happy holidays, everyone. I know it's been a while since my last video, um, because you know, finals, personal stuff, all of that. But I'm back now, and we have a cool little video today. We're gonna be making a fur bucket hat, and this one's like really cute because I thought it's perfect for the winter, keep you warm, keep your head warm, because it'd be type chilly out here, period. So before we get into the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. And look, you just made my day. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We are taking some faux fur that I got from Walmart and we're gonna use our bucket hat pieces. This bucket hat pattern I got from The Essentials Club on YouTube. They have a perfect bucket hat pattern that I use for all my bucket hats. It's perfect, go check them out. So I'm gonna use scissors for this and not my rotary cutter because we don't wanna cut right through the fur. We just wanna cut on the weft of the fur, whatever the fur is attached to. So I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna cut around all the pattern pieces. We need one for the circle top and two of each of the other um, pattern pieces, the brim and the headband part. So I'm going to reposition my fur so I can cut it on fold. So we can use our pattern weights to hold it down and then we are going to cut right through just because it's a cut on fold and you can't really help but cut through all of the fur. So we're going to do that to both of the pieces twice and for the brim we actually need four of these pieces. So you'll see the fur on the opposite side of the hat when we're finished, but only make two of the headbands pieces. Now that we have our odd pieces, we have four brim and two headband pieces and one circle. We're gonna put the two brim pieces face together and the headband pieces face together on their right side and sew on the edges. So before we do that, come and let's go get our inner lining piece. So I'm just using an old t-shirt that I was given. And with this shirt, I'm gonna cut two more of the headband pieces and one of the top circle pieces for the bucket hat. Now moving on to the sewing machine, we're gonna try to get all the fur out the way, place it on the inside, then pin the two sides down that we are gonna sew together. This is the brim. Um, put the brim pieces facing each other, the first side on the inside, matching sides together, and then just sew on those two edges like so, on both sides and do that with all the pieces. We're gonna do that with the brim, we're gonna do that with the headband, and all the lining pieces as well. Now that we have all of them sewn down, what we're gonna do is put the headband piece with the top circle piece. So I already did that to the lining, but this is what we're gonna do with the fur part. So we need to put right sides together so the fur should be on the inside. Flip that inside and the top piece, the fur should be facing the inside fur pieces as well. So I'm gonna start pinning at the edge of the side seams and then pin all the way around, making sure all of our fur is on the inside so we don't have to sew too much of the fur down. Push all the fur to the inside and just pin around. And they should match up pretty evenly. If they don't, then make sure you're pinning at the smaller side of the headband part. Then we're gonna sew that down with a straight stitch, just like that. We have like a little hat there going on. Here I'm pulling out all of the fur pieces so they don't look like they're stuck inside the seam. Here we're gonna sew one set of the fur brim to the headband and top part. So we're gonna match up the side seams of the brim and the side seams of the headband part with the fur facing each other. So right sides together and pin all the way around, but try to connect the side seams first. Now 
Once we have that pinned down, we're gonna do the same thing with the lining pieces. This time the lining is gonna match up with the other side of the brim. So put the right facings together um, and match up the brim with the lining of the headband piece as well. Match up those side seams and pin it all the way around like so. And then we'll have our inside of the hat. It'll all come together, I promise. We are gonna sew this down with a straight stitch all the way around. I'm doing the furs first, LOL. And take my time with it because it is fur and we don't wanna get too much caught into the sewing machine. So just remember after you do fur or stuff that has a lot of uh, pieces to it, make sure you clean out your sewing machine afterwards because your sewing machine does not deserve that. We have them both sewn together now, which is great. And now we just have to put them together. So we're gonna put right sides together. So the lining pieces is gonna go over top of the all fur part of the hat. Um, right sides together, make sure the right sides are together. And then we're just gonna pin around, matching the side seam first, and then everything else should come into place. And I'm trying my best to stick all the fur pieces on the inside. But as we pin around, we're going to need to have a space to turn the hat inside out. So make sure you leave a big gap to turn that hat inside out. Going back to the sewing machine, we're going to do a straight stitch all the way around, sewing right at the edge of the bucket hat make sure we are leaving a hole or an opening to turn the hat inside out like i mentioned before here i am turning the hat inside out through that hole opening being careful not to pull too hard or anything but now i'm going to take out all of the little hairs that i the fur hairs that i see and then we have to close up that hole that we um used to turn the hat inside out so just fold like that edge over and pin it together so you don't see the weft coming out um when we sew it down but it's only a little bit so we're going to sew like right at that edge so you can't really see it when the whole hat is finished so just sew right on that edge only the part that was open and then cut off all the excess and you're pretty much done here after that. This is what mine looks like. It looks like real furry. And some of the um, cut edges of the fur were too blunt for me. Um, this is what the inside looks like. You should have your lining, but you can still see some fur on the opposite side. So this is what it looked like when I put it on. I wasn't a big fan of how fur furry it was. I mean, I loved it, but it was just too much. So I took my scissors and I went ham. I just cut as much as I could, um, just shaving off as much as I could. It wasn't as even as it could be, but it's okay. It's, you know, a DIY. And it still looked great at the end. So I just cut on the bottom, on the top. My hand was starting to hurt and it was stuff everywhere flying around. I started coughing. It was just a mess. But in the end, it turned out great. Look at this. Ooh, it looks perfect for like the winter. It looks cozy. It's giving me bear, cuddly bear, soft you know vibes whatever and so i loved it i hope you love it too and i hope you make one let me know in the comments below thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next video bye